day and I'm excited to do this tutorial on using the Pro Type Titler in Vegas Pro. I'm in Vegas Pro 16 today and what I'm going to be doing is just going through some basic animations. There's 24 of them included in the plugin and it allows you to have these pre-animated text that you can experiment with and play with and get all different kinds of effects. And so I'm not going to show you every single thing about the plugin but I will show you the basics so you can get started with experimenting it with it yourself. So to get started, we make sure we're on the media generator and then we go to pro type titler and we can just drag this down on the timeline just like that. And here is our tool. Now it comes with built in, like I said, pre animations. And if you click down here on this little hard to see kind of four square icon, if you click it, you've got your 24 different animations that you can use. So I haven't been through all of these, but some might be more fun than others. So just to get started, I'm just going to kind of pick some at random. So let's go ahead and just pick action flip that since it's the first one and to get it down on the timeline you double click and there it is and you can preview the animation here in this window just by clicking the play button and some of these are actually fairly long they're too long actually like this one's about 10 seconds so that might be good for like a slow motion kind of thing because that's a really long one and then you can also preview the effect here in the timeline as well so there's a couple places that you can preview the effect so whichever is, I guess, is more convenient for you. So once we do that, the things that you're going to probably want to, what I'm going to show you how to change today is the actual text, the size, and the color, and the font. And then I'll show you how to speed them up and slow them down. And once you know all those things, you should be able to figure the rest out on your own. So to start with, if I click down here on the timeline, I'll, I can see the entire word. And then all I got to do is click on the text itself and this text pop up. And then I got to click over here on this icon there, that I, that capital I. And if I click it, this is the tricky part. Now you can't just edit the text. You've got to bring your cursor to the front of the word, click and drag and highlight the whole thing. Once the whole thing is highlighted, then just start typing in the text. Don't don't do anything else. So the first thing I'm going to type in is, do you want this? Okay. And that's, I've, so I've changed the text, the wording of the text. And if I play this back right now, it's kind of the same thing, but just with in there. If I want to make more changes, I've got to highlight the text again. And let's say I just want to change the style of the font. I can just come over here to the font family over here in the properties and just pick another font. So let's say I want to use, how about ethno? I don't know. It, there's so many of them. I'll just pick earthbound. And if I want to change the, the font size, I can also do that here. I can increase it make it smaller. And then if I wanted to, as long as the text stays highlighted, I can come over here to style and I can also change the, the color. So maybe I'll just change the color a little bit. And then after I do that, I can preview the animation again. Let me preview it here in the main window. So if I come over here and click, and like I said, this is a pretty slow one. So there it is. It's really slow. <laughs> So that's way too slow, unless you were maybe showing something slow motion behind it. So we definitely want to speed this up. So one way to speed it up is if you come over here to these arrows, you can just collapse everything and get it down to one line. And then if you just click and drag on the end of this, you can speed the whole thing up. And so let's say I just, this is, it says action. So to me, that means it should be fast. So now if I, I do come back here and I play it, it's a lot faster. And then what I can do is I can just trim the rest of it from here right here on the timeline. So let's see, I'll just hit the arrow key. So maybe I want it right about there. I'll just trim down to there. And that's our first animated title right there, just like that. Boom, okay. Now let's just, we can drag this and pull this down and let's just do, we're gonna do three more just to get the hang of it. So we're gonna come down to collections and let's pick a, I don't know, another one, the double flash glow. Let's just double click that and it pops up down here. And let's just take a look at what that looks like. We'll hit play. That could be cool for highlighting something. So that's not a bad effect. Then what we do is we left click and we click on the text itself. We come up here to edit text. Then we come to the front of the word, we click and drag and highlight the whole thing. And now we can edit the text. So I'm just gonna type in something like, or this, something simple. 
And again, you can do the same thing. If you click and highlight again, you can change the font again. And I would think maybe changing the font or the color is the most likely things that you would do. So we can change it to impact. Again, as long as everything is highlighted, we could scale this up a little bit more if we wanted to. Again, change the color if we wanted to, but I'm just gonna leave it at, uh, at white. So if I close this window and let's just hit play from right about here. It flashes twice. Let's see. So I can, I could just trim it down right here on the timeline if I wanted to. Or I could also, if I wanted to speed it up, I could also just come over here and minimize these arrows and just trim it down there if I wanted to speed it up a little bit. So this may not be the most artistic <laughs> animation in the world, but I just want to kind of walk through a couple of these so you see how relatively easy it is to do once you get the basics down. So let's go ahead and do another one. We'll drag this one down and let's see what else we got here. Some of these I know I think are, are cooler than others. So let's do the flying from the right. We'll double click and it pops in down here. And you've got to sometimes click down here to be able to see the words because the effect hasn't happened yet. So you click down here to where you can see all the words. Then you click on it. Just click once, left click. And then if you hit that, we can edit what it says. Then we come to the front of the word. We click and drag to highlight everything. I can write or even something like this. And then again, if I click in the front and highlight all the text, I can change the font again if I'd like. I don't know. And something like that. And I could, maybe if it seems too small, I could bump up the size as long as everything is good. I click up here and I can go out edit text mode. And then I can click here and then we can come in here and watch it and see like that. So that seems to be moving fast enough. I think that's kind of nice. And then I'll just trim this down to right about there. And then let's just do one last one, just to double check. We got our workflow going. We come to collections and let's do, <laughs> let's do uh, twist in. That sounds fun. So double click that and let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay. So what I can do is click right there. Then I click on the word itself, come up here, go into edit mode click in the front, highlight everything. And I can just, you can do it. Okay. And then I can highlight it again if I don't like that font because it's the default is Arial. So more than likely you will want to change the font. You can do it, just something like that. And I, I can kind of keep seeing over here on the screen too. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe make the font size a little bit bigger. And again, I can come in here as long as everything is highlighted and change the colors, something like that. And if I hit play down here, it's a kind of a fast animation. And that should do it. Stop right there. It goes, there we go. And I'll just hit enter to stop it. And then I'll just trim it all down. Okay. So then we have our four animated texts pretty fast pretty easy. It's just getting used to highlighting all the text, uh, I think is really the main thing. Okay. And now let's say we wanted to add a background to this just for fun, just to give you an idea of how easy you can do that. And it could be a picture or it could be one of these noise textures. And I think these are, I think like this prototype Tyler and the noise texture are like two really underrated features in Vegas Pro. So let's just come over here and we'll grab one of these, this marble. Like I said, this may not look the greatest, but what I can do is click and drag that to the length of my clip. And let's say, you know, this is ghastly or we don't really like it. We just really, it's too distracting. We can just come here and pull down the opacity a little bit. And then what we can do is if we come over here into offset and we click on this animate here, that's right, animate. Animate, we can come to the end of our timeline here and then just push up the process, progress a little bit just to give us a little animation going on with that. So now if I click and play, we 
we've got our different animation kind of going on. Now one thing I did notice that is kind of cool is like if that background is moving too much you can actually come over here and go to the end of the clip hit control and just time stretch it out a little bit more to slow it down. It actually looks better when it's kind of moving slower. And basically that's it. That's all you got to do to get some animated text going and the effects are actually pretty cool. When you go to render again I do recommend doing it in the higher quality so I would suggest going to 32-bit loading. I would suggest going to fast and I would disable resample and that should give you a pretty good result and then you're good to go. Then you just got to go up here and render it out and see how you like it. So I hope you found this helpful. It's one of these tools inside Vegas that actually you can do a lot of things with, but I don't think it gets used that much. I didn't even know it was there for the longest time. I usually just use legacy text. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please keep watching the videos. I really appreciate it. Take care and I'll talk to you later.